Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in again and rolling our character on a 7 streak. I said we're going to keep the streak going and we are going to keep the streak going. And we get Tainted Forgotten to Mega Sit. And I think we did Tainted Forgotten recently, but I genuinely really love him as a character. So I'm going to play him. Um, I have been having some sort of tweaky tweaks with stuff that I've got going on. I told you guys about this mod that we've got here with the, um, with the whole new borders. I've actually completely deleted and removed the Better Doors mod um, and replaced it with the Better Doors from the mod that the backdrops are from. And I think, ooh, it's nice. I think that they're better just because they fit in with the backdrops more. And it also seems to have improved my performance somewhat. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but so far, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with how it's looking. Also, this is going amazingly well so far okay nothing out of that Let, let's try this out oh great <laughs> oh <laughs> please say it stays like this forever that's amazing <laughs> look at this dude oh my god the the i forgot that the the horse pill variant of i found pills does this and it just looks amazing especially for the forgotten as well <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. It's visually amazing. But yeah, it seems to have sorted out some FPS issues I was having. I did some uh, sort of test runs and I had some significant issues with FPS and it seems to have sorted those out. So hopefully we are uh, set for the future. We don't have to mess around with that too much more or worry about FPS issues from now on. Uh, I would hope so at least, but I will uh, I will keep you guys updated and let you know. I'm going to quickly just uh, minimize my game real quick, just to make sure of something. I do apologize for the, uh, the brief moment. There you go. Okay. I did notice just then that my volume for my microphone was a little bit quieter than I normally intend it to be. And I just realized that it's because my microphone was turned down slightly. So that should be turned up and uh, back to full volume for you guys now. So I do apologize about that. Because I have it tweaked in OBS and for some reason Windows likes to mess with the settings even though I didn't ask it to. Uh, gives damage up for the room if used immediately after killing enemy. The time frame for activating it gets short for each successful use activation in a room. Uh, failed to use... Okay, so it's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like the Rad Gun from Enter the Gungeon. But it's, um, it's not reload based and it's not a gun. It's an active item. Okay, so do you know what? Okay, that's 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 actually pretty good. This is this has got some weird stuff to it. What in the hell just happened? I, there was a luck penny in there too. Is that literally the best iteration you've ever seen? Also, look at the pageant boy hat on this fucking <laughs> forgotten horse face. Oh, it's beautiful. Also, this this. This golden penny's popping off. It's still popping off. If we can get to 45 cent, I'd be amazed. I'm calling it now, though. This penny's... Aw, oh, I was going to say this penny's got it in it. Not quite. But goddamn. Best pageant boy I've ever done seen. It even had a luck penny in it. Okay. Now. Now, we have a dilemma. Because I like this active. But diplopia. <laughs> um... Every third shop item on the current floor will cost one penny. Buying two items with hearts in one room makes all other items free. I might as well take that. And as much as I love the idea of these shades, they seem really cool. It's Diplopia. I mean, you understand, right? It's Diplopia. You kind of got to give in to the Diplop. Right, also... Little, little confused as to where Secret Room is here. I'm glad it was there because I wasn't 100% sure. Ooh, we got the bag tissue. This is an interesting thing here. All pickups in a room are destroyed and the eight most valuable pickups form an item based on the quality of the total um, item's weight. The most valuable pickups are the rarest ones. Okay, so this is kind of hard to make work, but we'll try. We will try. So, bag tissues, it's going to be... Basically, we need eight consumables in one room, which... I can't remember. Is there anything left in here? No. Uh, we need eight consumables in a single room um, to make this work to start with, which is already kind of hard to do. But we'll hold on to it and see what we can get going on. Um, 
We'll do Mega Satan, but we will at least go down here. Uh, you might also realize that uh, the, 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 the game looks a little better. That's because I had my gamma set to 150 instead of 100 by accident. Because we got that like sepia turn uh, item and I turned it down for that episode and never turned it back again. So I do apologize for that. Again, just another slight error on my behalf. Um, we don't have a trinket right now, do we? We do not know. Grab that yum hat. But yeah, Diplopia is just one of those items that I feel like I kind of always... I always want to take. Because it just has so many unique use cases where we can, like, make an item significantly better by having two of them. Um, it's just fun. So I'm hoping... Hoping this leads to some good stuff. Right. Boom bow. Ooh, we could get doubled able. <laughs> no, we get the candle kit. Do you know what? Candle kit, really, really good. Because obviously we're throwing this guy. And it means we're going to pass over enemies. Light them on fire as we pass. Little worried about these leeches. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit there. But par for the course, really. Uh, ooh. Now, electric dice is really saucy. Why is it saucy? Because it does work with diplopia. Um, oh. There's also a steam sale. Oh lord, this could be this could be beautiful. Right, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll 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 think about that. We're, we're we're getting close to the amount that we need, so it's certainly plausible, dude. These stupid damn flies, I hate them. I hate them with a passion. Taking a bit too much damage here, I realize. I, I am gonna keep bag tissue and hope we can get use out of it during this run at some point. It's honestly not likely to happen soon. You don't get many rooms that have eight consumables in them. Uh, just lying, that, especially eight consumables that, you, that are of high quality that you don't want. It's not exactly a common thing, but I still want to keep hold of it just in case. Do you know, that re it really annoys me when that happens, when you throw the forgotten. And instead of, instead of it, like, hitting the enemy and stopping, it just yeets past the enemy. Like, like it should have done that. It just stopped at the enemy. Sometimes it just goes straight past them. Right, okay, this is a bit of an annoying room, but we do have flight. Makes it significantly easier. That was really bad. That that was a, a wasted bomb on my behalf there. I apologize. <laughs> oh, but today, the question being, what is your favorite genre of film? What genre of film just really, really brings you in? Comedy's always been my go-to. I, I just love comedy, like... Two of my favorite films is Superbad. I really love Superbad. And um, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is like another one of my favorite films. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, I like quite a lot of things. Like one, one of my favorite films as of late, I mean, it's not exactly a recent film, but, uh, but one of my favorite films that I watched that uh, I really, really enjoyed was uh, Knives Out. I don't know how many of you have seen Knives Out, but Knives Out was just incredibly amazing. Right, because I have Diplopia, I should at least check this. Um, Kind of funny how we literally got three on damage effects here. That's actually hilarious. Um, unfortunately, I don't plan on taking that much damage. Also, just look at my dude. Look how hilarious this guy looks. <laughs> this is like the best fucking visuals I've ever seen. Oh my lord, look at him. Look at him, he's so proud with his little, his little tiara, little hat on. That's not secret room. It's got to be here then, right? There you go. Nah. We can't We can't pick up red hearts as this guy, so it's not really worth it. Second secret room is a little more difficult. I, I kind of doubt it's here, but I've got to try it. Ooh, okay. Has my game just crashed? F. Be right back. Yep, yep, yep. Big F. Right, we are back. Unfortunately, we are probably going to have to play through the whole of Downpour 2 again, considering we literally cleared the entire floor, which is annoying. But, as I said, kind of par for the course. <laughs> Unfortunately, so. But yeah, we're going to have to clear this whole thing again. I mean... To be honest, there is potential for us to clear it better than we did last time, meaning we might be able to get, uh, might be able to take less damage or whatnot. But I don't, I don't know. Did we even take damage? Um, oh, we got this this time. We didn't get that last time. They are apparently not seeded. Unfortunately, it didn't give us anything worthwhile though. 
But yeah, just make sure we don't go to second secret room this time, because it's not worth it. Actually, make sure we don't go to either secret room, because none of them are worth it. This is a room we did get hit on, actually, so we could maybe prevent that. I did almost walk into that spike drop there. That would have been devastating. Uh, we'll pop that. And then we'll grab a cracked dice. We could reroll for Steam Sale, but I doubt we're going to be able to afford it. We also got hit in this room last time as well, but I'd hedge my bets that I'm going to get hit again. Ooh, ooh, we can gain a heart for a broken heart. I'm sorry, but that doesn't appeal to me right now. But yeah, we're not going to go into second secret room this time. I'm not interested in crashing my game. Also, we don't have to enter Devil Deal this time. This is when crashing is is a is a cheaty blessing. Now we know that we don't need to enter the Devil Room because there's nothing in there that we want to deplope here. So we can just say no. Okay, this is a little tricky. We should be okay. There you go. Just use the candles. There you go. And let's go fight our boss. Might be able to do a little bit better on the boss this time. Did we get a burn heart after beating the boss? I feel like that's what we got it from, right? Oh my god. Ooh, I did actually hit him there. I thought I missed. Ooh, okay. The candles are doing a good job, though. They're, like, lighting him up. And especially considering they're lighting multiple segments, too. Right, you create your holes. I don't mind. I do not mind. That was a good throw. And there you go. So where the hell did we get our burn heart from? Anyways, time for time for our dude to look just even more hilarious than he already did. And I guess we skip it a hop down to the next floor. We don't really have much else we want to do here, do we? <coughs> it doesn't look like. But remember, Diplopia plus, uh, plus electric dice can trigger. Uh, as long as it's not been fixed, which I don't think it has. That's a good, that, that's a, that's a, that's a really good book right there. Ooh, baby, that's a really good book. Don't make me accidentally pick it up, fly. I'm not interested in that. Okay. So, that's staying there for now. Because if we can deploy something this floor, I have to say I'd like to, uh... I'd like to take Book of Revelation. It's a little bit of a boring play, I'll admit. It's not exactly the most exciting thing to take, just because it's basically a guaranteed win. But we are trying to, to, to set up a win streak here, so it would be kind of a good idea. I kind of want to try and get to our highest wins, which on modded I realise is basically a pipe dream, because on modded there's so much chance for things to go awry. Um, like lagwise or like a modded item interacting poorly and getting us killed, all that sort of jazz. But I still want to give it a go because I feel like we're on the we're on the right track right now. So the shop is of course high priority here, high priority indeed. Unfortunately, nothing to diplopia there. Got you. We probably do want the um, the hat, so I will um, do that. Is that enough? Not quite. Not quite. See, that could have been a room there that we use our bag tissue in, but I feel like using bag tissue on pennies, the value just isn't there. Oh, shit. This room's a little laggy. Oh, God. That was a that was a really bad hit, but at the same time, I did manage to get a Blackheart uh, damage proc on the boss, which helped us out immensely. Foul Gut? I don't even know how Foul Gut would work, right? Um... Hmm. Do you know what? It seemed to work out just fine for us there. Okay. Purgatory, unfortunately, also not a very good item. So I think we'll take Purgatory. Also, the angel room just looking amazing there. We're gonna we're gonna sans the Book of Revelation. We're gonna just say no. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the end orb thingy. Um if I can afford it. Which is looking unlikely at the minute, actually. Let's go do these extra rooms. But yeah, a lot of burn hearts right now. That's pretty good. As the forgotten, I can get behind them. Okay, secret room could be here. Could also be here. Ooh, hello. We get Isaac's Tomb, which is a very good item for us here. We'll pop that. Damn it. 
And yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna just say goodbye and grab this, which is unfortunately also an active item. Um, upon use, creates a random snack item. Removes snack items from all item pools. If all snack items were spawned, upon use turns into a pedestal that gives an all stats up. The fuck? That seems odd. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it, but th that seems that seems strange. Seems odd to me. Okay. Well, we'll let it be. We have incredibly good HP now. Incredibly good. I'm gonna see what's what. Old chest is gonna give us that. We'll leave that there. I kind of forgot about the old chest for a second there. Pegatory doing its thing. Nice. I do forget Pegatory does do a pretty good amount of damage, to be honest. Like, especially considering we can throw. In fact, it's not exactly the strongest tactic in the world, but I may have underestimated Pegatory on a character such as Tainted Forgotten, considering we can activate it at range, which is something obviously you can't normally do. Um, unfortunately, that's not what we want. I love these stalagmites here. They're so cool. Um, yeah. Being able to activate it at range seems incredible. I would very much like a damage or fire rate upgrade at the minute. Like, even just like that, we kind of accidentally threw it past the purgatory crack, and it, it kind of worked out for us. Like, get that activated. Do a bit of that. Just a pill. I'm kind of okay for pills. By the way, a lot of people say, why don't you take pills and why do you sometimes? Basically, I evaluate it based on the run. If my run's already in a good enough spot where I don't think I need the pill, then I'll take it. Then I won't take it. But if I'm in like a desperate situation, I know it could make it worse, but I'll usually take it. Good, good. Like, this is a good situation here. We can crack that. Then do that. I like it. I think it's working out pretty well. We've also got the ability to drop one of these here, which I realise we probably don't need the HP, but one soul heart fills us up nicely. Don't accidentally take that one there, though. That, that one's saved for later. Ooh, I was just... Damn it. I was just about to say, this is a great room for bag tissue, maybe, if there's enough stuff in here. Doesn't matter, though. Guess not. Now, do cards count? I'm gonna guess so. Oh, thank you. Wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Ooh, that was close. The candles are doing such a good job as well. Like, they're not a lot of damage, but it's that nice bit of extra. Okay, okay, okay. This is a, this is a horrendous room full of nightmares. Let's just keep our cool, keep our cool. I really want to not blow up the barrel, because I have big plans for that barrel. But I, I have a feeling it's not going to be easy to not blow up the barrel. Do you know what? Oh, the, I pressed the other button. Are you kidding me? The barrel! <laughs> God damn it, purgatory. Right, how many things do we have in this room? One, two, three, four. We have four things. Okay. Doesn't matter. I had an idea. The idea has failed. Oh my god, I missed. Missed well and truly. Yeah, we definitely need some statistical increases here, because we are in a bit of a bad spot right now, I'll admit. We're not really doing enough damage to warrant the amount of time it's taking us to kill things. Another glitch heart, nice. Get our bag tissue. I really hope we get an opportunity to use this at some point. I just don't know when that's going to arise. Oh, sibling rivalry is so good. I was very tempted to diplopia it then. In fact, I probably should have done that. Would have been really good. Do you know what? I really wish I'd have diplopia it now. I think this would have been a, a perfect candidate for diplopia -ing. Basically, these little familiars are going to circle, and every now and again, they're, they're going to meet in the middle and fight. As you can see, like this, look. Is that punching each other? Knocking teeth out left and right. It's one of my favourite familiars in the game for modded. It's such a cool idea. Like, I love the little sprite animations. They look so good.
Right. I think we'll just grab that. Take it as it is. Secret room here, I really hope, is here. I really want it to be next to the boss trap room here, but I don't know if we're going to get that lucky. It doesn't look like it, actually. So, yeah, as you can see, they leave a little creep on the floor. They punch each other's teeth out. Do a good amount of damage. We'll use Pergatory during this room here. Kill some stuff a bit quicker. Oh, I've, I've got to say... Every single iteration, every single additional add that we make to how my forgotten character looks just makes me happier and happier. Someone needs to draw this goofy looking fool. One second, guys. Cool. Oh, old chest. I forgot about that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Got to remember that's there because we can maybe play a sack room. Yeah, you can see the custom doors here. They just fit in a lot more with what we got going on. And yeah, like I said, it sol solved the lag issue. I really wish I'd have used Diplopia. Really wish I'd used Diplopia. Even just having two of these dudes would have been awesome. Oh, -ho -ho. yes. Okay, I'm sorry, Bag Tissue. I might come back for you. But Dice Shard is super cool. In fact, we can use it right here. Right. Dice shard. Glitch out the items. Okay. Plus three coins may affect damage. When you take damage, gain harmonic convergence for the room, then gain um, Book of the Cosmos for the room. Heals plus two red hearts. On hitting an enemy, chance to deal damage in an area, then fart, then gain starter deck for the room. This says may affect damage. This could be a damage up. It wasn't. Evil game. Let's say, oh wait, they're both. Yeah, they're, they're, they're passives. So we can take them both. Oh, awesome. Okay, we got some glitched items. I love that. <laughs> That's so cool. God damn, this floor looks awesome. This floor is looking very cool. Oh, look at that. Look at the floor on this one. It looks so good. So good. So, 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 so good. Oh god, that's a lot of spoders. Throw at this boy. Keep it going through here. I hope we get some good shops going now that we've got 20 cent. The, uh, the, the big greed player on our head is going to spawn some uh, random shop items here and there. The items cost 20 cent, but they can be from any pool, so usually they're pretty good. But I've, I've had varying results of success with the item, where sometimes I go an entire run and it never spawns them. Under the times, I have no money and it spawns them constantly. It's a bit back and forth. Right, bow. Bum, 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 bow. I just, I can't. Every time I look at my character model, like, let me just take a little screenshot of this bad boy and post it to the Discord, because it's just hilarious. It's just hilarious. Just look at this. Look at this boy. <laughs> it just makes me laugh so much. It's so funny. Ooh, we'll double bomb this. Why not? And we get two bombs back. Kamalama. Actually, that's pretty good to know that that's there. Not that we need the bed, I'm hoping. I was just about to say, I'm hoping to accidentally throw into the bed. <laughs> Literally throwing yourself into the bed. Double hearts, unfortunately. Okay, we need to be careful here. This is a ripe room for us getting hit, but we are gods, so it doesn't matter. Whoa! Purgatory just decimated those enemies. You see what I mean? I feel like I underrate it. That was so much damage. Ooh, these iron blocks look new. Did not mean to spend a key there. The iron blocks look new. Uh, I didn't know that they were changed, but I'm glad they are because they look really good. I just, generally, the game's just looking way better. It's awesome. Right. Let's sort of check this floor for the possibility of some Diplopia action. It's one of those... I feel like Diplopia's always got too good to use syndrome. Where you keep it for that perfect scenario where you get like 20-20 times 4 or some shit. 
but you end up just not using it ever. Ooh, multiplicative red stew could be interesting. Mega Bean is not so much. Does red stew stack is the question. I feel like today's the day we find out. Let's go fight our boss and see if we get an angel deal or devil deal first. But I think otherwise today's the day we find out. Whoa, this boss room with this boss looks awesome. Damn it, I'm really messing this up. Having a hard time. There's there's the farts going off. But we gained harmonic conversion, which doesn't seem to work, unfortunately. We only gained it visually. We didn't actually gain the item itself, apparently. Which is a shame. Starvation is an interesting one. Plus, so basically, the higher our HP, the higher our damage. I think... I think this is good to take. That's a lot of burn hearts. And it did lower our damage. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Way, way, way better diplopia uh, chances here. Right, play these chests out. Hope for another item. Oh, I just took a broken heart by accident. God damn it. A little annoying that they don't have, like, pick accidental pickup prevention. I oh, was just red hearts, goddammit. Okay. Diplopia. Ah, oh, it only activated once, still. There you go. Right. I need to go do something now, which I'm a little bit... Stupid for not doing just then. Feel I. Wait a minute. Is my angel deal still open? I could have used bag tissue in that room. It's not. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Right, I'll come back for you. I'll come back for you. Right. Let me find a good way of doing this. First of all, let's do these rooms we haven't done yet. Okay. I didn't really want to finish that room, so thanks for that, guys. I really want to remove all of my hearts. <laughs> my broken hearts, that is. Oh, burn hurting juice. Okay, there you go. That's enough. That's enough. We can keep one. Okay, no we can't. <laughs> we have so much health available to us on this floor. I'd rather have solid spirit hearts because they're worth more than burn hearts. It's essentially what my plan is here. Ghosty boy. Yeah, because we got three spirit hearts right here. And then a bed over here. I'm really annoyed that I accidentally picked up that broken heart. I do think the broken heart hearts are cool. But yeah, they need they need some like pickup prevention to make sure that doesn't happen. Because that's kind of BS that one can just jump out of a chest. There you go. We're at full health now. Or what should be full health for us. And we're going to get lost. I'm so annoyed I didn't think to use the bag tissue on that uh, on that angel deal. It's very stupid of me. But nonetheless, we push forward ever more. Ooh, I forgot about our old chest. Doesn't actually matter because we do not currently have enough, um... We do not currently have enough keys to even open it. But there you go. The game provides. <gasps> Whoa! I don't know how good that is for us, but I was not expecting Godhead. I gotta say. I don't think Godhead's actually that good for us here because we can't shoot. But it's Godhead. Oh, it's ruined our beautiful visuals, though. We look just like normal now, like a some sort of average goober. Although that might not have been, uh, that might have been something else that did that to us, to be honest. I wasn't actually looking what when our visuals changed. What on earth is going on here?
Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. 4.5 volt jumper cables. Okay. Chaos is there, but I don't think we're going for chaos right now. I'm looking for an active item that would be stopwatches there. It's a lot of HP, though. I'm going to keep rolling. Stopwatch is good, but not good enough. Please don't break machine. God damn it, you bitch. Alabaster box. Eh. I'm a, I'm torn here. Because there's no point in us taking coupon right now. Hmm. That's a little bit of a shame. We could have had a lot more out of that. And now we have a bunch of active item based stuff without actually having an active item, which is equally as annoying. My idea is we have electric dice plus jumper cables plus 4.5 volt. If we can get any sort of active that is quick charge, we are going to be doing very well for ourselves. But I'm trying to think what that would be. What's an active that you that you can kind of use on charge, like whenever it's ready? Like maybe like a fortune cookie would be would be top tier. Extra cards, extra spirit hearts. Very quick to charge. Yeah, that's... If, if I'm thinking of, like, best... This is annoying. If I'm thinking, like, best possible items, I'd probably say Fortune Cookie would be very much up there for us. What? Ugh. That didn't even make us into stone. That was going to mean we couldn't get hit when we used that. I have been lied to. Absolutely love that arcade music. It is an absolute banger and a half. Right. Just keep playing as normal. We'll get there. Okay. Item room, please give us a good active. It's going to end up giving us like a six room charge active that doesn't really work with this setup. To be fair though, six room charge would still work reasonably well just because of jumper cables. But I don't want to have to, I don't want to have paid for all this stuff and get nothing out of it really. We could get mum's brace. Yeah, that doesn't really do it for us, does it? Because the charge doesn't matter. I told you. But item room, item room could still be our saviour. You can be my hero, baby. Prevent storm moves from spawning sounds like a absolutely cracking idea to me. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, there's so many enemies in this room. What on God's green earth is going on here? Oh my stars. A theme? Unfortunately is an on-hit item, but I will take it nonetheless. These these farts that we're getting from our, uh, I believe that's from our glitched item, are actually, they're doing a lot. <laughs> like, if it does it, like, right as we hit an enemy, it's so good. Not a big fan of all these pin enemies. Ooh, a theme with Herming. Is pretty saucy. Right, item room. Please. Please. Ugh. Not what I want not what I was looking to see. Not what I was looking to see. Goddamn corrosive bombs. What the hell is this room? No thank you. I'll be leaving now. <laughs> I opt out of that, thanks. Right, secret room is likely to be just the left here. Try that out. Sad times. It's probably here instead, right? 
Not actually sure. Okay. Jack of hearts. Hearts will drop more often. Hanged man. Coins will drop more often. Unknown. Okay, I've got maybe just a, a smidging of an idea here. Right, there's currently six things in there. Let's try and get bag tissue to play out. I'm trying to think how best we do that. Does the shop enable it? Oh, okay, so there's our seventh. The fool card. Quickly go and check up on the shop real quick, see if the shop has anything for us. Doesn't yet. Damn it. Please, please don't do this to me, game. Please give me an option to do this. Oh, we do have another arcade, actually. Kind of forgot about that. Right. Plant the fool card in here somewhere. Grab the trinket. Leave bag there for now. Okay. Some money. Some more money. Some more money. Oh, fuck. Where, where did that bomb come from? Also, we might as well take this, because we are producing creep here. Okay. Right. Next thing is... Blowing up random skulls. This is a lot of effort for this, but I, I really want to make it work. Right. Oh, wait. Do we have a mum's dresser in here? Because we might be able to get a pill out of this. We do. Huzzah. Okay, 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 okay. Right. I think this will work. And we should get a reasonably high quality item. Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go a little bit overboard here. I realise this is going to waste some time, but there is a there is multiple modded cards within this selection. So I'm going to go and get the other pills also, just to make sure, in case the um, in case the modded cards don't count for whatever reason, because we have three modded cards and three pills, so we can outweigh the the cards with the pills just in case. Although I don't think it'll matter. It's just a precaution. I just, I've never, I've never actually gotten the bag, um, the bag tissue to actually proc or work. So I'm interested to try it. I've realized that I'm just wasting time at this point, but we ain't in no big time rush. I'm a little annoyed that the cork didn't seem to work for our fighting brother rivalry, but maybe I just didn't quite see it right. Maybe it does. Right. So last one, plop that in there. Take these trinkets out of the room just in case. Grab this bad boy. Will it make a secret room item as well? That's the question. Right. Oopsie. Grab that. Grab that. Bag tissue. Hmm. That was wholeheartedly not worth the effort in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> that was... So not worth the effort I put into that. I'm very upset. That's just going to give us more money, but we don't care about money anymore. We are past the point of money being valuable to us. Did I ever buy red stew, by the way? I don't think I did, did I? It's kind of stupid of me. And of course... There's the screw, but we have no money. <laughs> funny, funny. Supposed to be doing mega certain. I forgot. Right. <laughs> After all of that messing around. Oh, old chest, old chest. Forgot about that. Very valuable for us. There's some trinkets. All future force become XL when possible. 75% 75 chance to activate a random coin effect. I need to see if my sibling rivalry thing actually works with the cork first, really. I don't think it does. It seems to be a complete... The creep seems to be a separate entity. But then again, neither of those strings are really that good. Ooh, there's like a bile in the, in the floor now. There's, there's, isn't it normally just a void in the womb? Also, like, I think the... The, like weird overlay 
from from the womb has been removed as well. Which is nice, because it looks genuinely a lot better and it lags less, so. Oh, ha ha. Go away, you stupid enemies. Nope, I'm not dealing with you. I'm just upset that we've removed our sweet, sweet style. Just fart on everything. It'll all be okay. It's kind of working out, actually, farting on everything. It's the way I live my life. Oh, Mimic just... What the heck? So... S small confusion here. Um, hmm, I need to screenshot this. Hmm, right, one moment, one moment. Du, 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 du. One second, one second. Where is Pedroff? Hmm, for some reason, got the wrong item from a chest in a normal run. This is from a spike chest, which is obviously the mod, the mod that I, me, I made with Pedroff to uh, add uh, unique item pools to spike chests. And for some reason, it did not spawn an item from either of the pools. I'm not quite sure why. It didn't spawn um, any of the spike chests because that is not in the spike chest pool. I'm not quite sure why it did that. I mean, have to, that'll have to be something that I play around with a little more because. That's obviously a pretty annoying bug if it's not spawning the right item pools. I'm getting hit way too much right now. Oh, Squeezy helps though. Not only is it fire rate, it's two soul hearts. We're good to go. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why it spawned that. I'll, I guess I'll figure it out soon. Um, unfortunately, we're not getting very good trinkets from our uh, chest. I'm really hoping, to be honest, that our uh, old chest spawns some soul hearts for me soon, because that'd be pretty damn useful. God damn it, stop eating him too far. I keep throwing him too far. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, Bob's rotten head. Hello, hello. What an item. Still getting hit a bunch. Oh god, I just threw it directly into the enemies that can't be hit. Why? I need to be using Purgatory to add my best of my abilities on these floors, but I genuinely can't even see where the Purgatory crack is. Oh, it's there. Just under the blood. I saw it eventually. Bomb beggar. You're not really my style, sorry. Ooh, wait. I just realised. We've now actually got an active item to work with our little active item scandal we got going on here. A scandal. I'm, I'm I mean build. And it's also got Godhead around it. We need some health bad. I'm getting hit a lot right now. These finches are giving us so much money. It looks like they can either take or give money. That's kind of the, the whole idea of them. Ah, what the hell? Oh, I am getting hit way too much right now. It's bad. I've even got the soul. Angel deal, please save me. Um, not really saved, but I will take this. Why? Why do I always decide decide to fight both of them at once? Also, I got hit by a purple fire. That's great. Now, we can do Mega Satan, which is honestly unlikely because we have very few... Uh, I was going to say very few healths. That's not the way you say that. It's not the right phrasing. God damn. The cathedral looks awesome. Oopsie. At what? It spawned a single glitched heart. That spawned another glitched heart. That spawned another glitched heart. What the heck? <laughs> the fuck? Ooh, do you know what? Immaculate Heart's actually doing good for us. Because now we have um, actual tears. 
Yeah, and that godhead tears. I like that. It's very nice. When you shoot, sometimes we're gonna throw out a godhead tear. Luda is fantastic for us. Now we've got a tear that we can whack around the herms. <laughs> this is fantastic. Luda's like one of the best items we could have got. <laughs> Oh, oh, how did I get hit there? Judgment, save me. I need health. Do you know what? That that is that is damage. Not really health, but it is damage. God damn! Yeah, the homing on Luda is insane. I I think Black Hole is potentially better here. We can use it more often. I think it's going to be really good. And it does like damage to the whole room as well. Apart from in a situation like this where you literally can't damage the enemies. Another soul heart. Good. Kind of funny. Okay. Our health game is looking way better. This run, this run has really turned around this floor. Really turned around. I'm very happy. Oh god, oh, I, I despise this room with all of my being. Look at that! L Ludo! It's the best! Look! Whoop! I literally am not doing anything in this Ludo Godhead tier. I could literally just not play the game anymore and let Ludo handle everything. And be I believe... No, it's not quite. But anyways, let's just... There you go. Chill out. <laughs> How do I not know how powerful the synergy would be? Yeah, I, I think Black Hole with this Ludo thing going on is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with electric dice, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. Could you just not, sir? Stop spawning your troll bombs and disappearing on people. Damn. Okay, just gotta be careful and not get hit. Which in itself is not easy, but we're managing. We'll say, slightly annoying the black hole sucks us up, but I kind of knew that. This fight's really hard with this character, I think. You're just constantly having to chase around your body as it bumbles around everywhere. But it looks like we're going to do it just fine. Spike the hole then. Um, ooh, we got our old chest. Forgot about that. Enemies touching you become feared. Um, why not? Mum's pad. Great. Oh, we don't have any keys left. My god. Let like Ludo handle it. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, key, 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 key. Open a chest. Ah, no thank you. Good, good, good. God, this Ludo tactic's amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, unfortunately, the thing is, this isn't going to work on Mega Satan, and I need a lot more help before I'm comfortable fighting him. We have the option now. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it. God damn, it's so much money. We ended up with 55 cent there. 
Oh my god. Oh! It's so scary. And now we're back down to 24. These Fitcher things are strange. Oh my god, I love this. This is such an interesting, unique build we got going on right now. I just need more items. Like, desperately. Can you get over here, dude? Yeah, blow yourself up. There you go. While firing, charge up a bloodstream. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work because we can't really charge it up. Yay, steam sale. I think we have to take the L and just fight this, dude. We'll do our purgatory thing. I don't think we're, we're ready for Mega Set on this fight, on this uh, this run. But this has been good as it is, to be fair. And there you go. That about does it. That's a win. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What a fun little run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.